I, I didn't think he had a chance to be honest with you. Um, you know, when he when he left the, the course last night and his ball was in the rough, he did well to make par at two, well to make par at three. But you could tell by the way he was swinging. Uh, you know, he was he was doing very nicely to make bogeys there for a while. Lucky is that it wasn't double or worse. So once he gave up the lead, I didn't think there was any way he was going to get it back. I think he finally found his game late, settled his nerves, what have you, got his timing back. Uh, by then he's running out of holes. By then it's it's too late. Um, although he would have needed to make you know a, a birdie on the 18th, still could have made that three putt, par putt for Lucas just a little bit longer. Um, and you're not terribly surprised. I mean, I, I don't want to sound too negative because it's been a great week for him. But it's the same wing, uh, same thing with Chris DeMarco at the Masters in 2005, where you you realize there's a reason this guy's only won three times in 11 years. Same with Ricky. It took him six years just to get his PGA Tour card. There's a reason for that. There's some deficiencies in his game. I'm sure he's going to find them, and, and you hope he does at some point. But you'd be hard pressed to think that that could hold up over the last 27 holes of the U.S. Open. Uh, and I think he should be proud of himself for for at least hanging in there.